everybody welcome back into another video yes we just posted a video probably about 30 minutes ago but we are just continuing to chug away at the new free agents for the Arizona Cardinals that they are bringing in for the 2024 season and we just got another one ladies and gentlemen now real quick I, I know in my last video I said that I did not know the contract of Sean Murphy Bunting. So the actual report came out here that he is actually going to get a three-year deal for the Arizona Cardinals. And that is going to be a $17.4 million contract. So pretty cheap. We're, we're talking probably about like what? Less than $6 million per year when it comes down to it. And we're talking about a guy that's 26 years old. So pretty good deal here for the Arizona Cardinals, if I might say so myself. I know there's some fans out there that are not really big and high on uh, Sean Murphy bunting. But at the end of the day, let's see what this young kid can do for the Arizona Cardinals. And let's be honest, he's CB1, right? So let's focus on the new player here for the Arizona Cardinals. And that is going to be, we got a defensive tackle. Bilal Nichols is who he is. Now, don't really know too much about him, but it looks like to be that he is a late round pick uh, for the Raiders. He was picked up back in 2018 um, in the fifth round, 145th overall. Um, actually, I think he was actually picked up by Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so he was drafted by Chicago, but actually spent some time with the Raiders and... Um, 27, 6'4", 313 pounds. This last year, he had 1.5 sacks. So it wasn't... The production wasn't isn't great, right? The prediction the, the the production last year wasn't great, but he spent two years with the uh um, with the Raiders, so 2023 and then 2024, um, and then he had 1.5 sacks on each of those. But for Chicago, in his first year, he had three sacks, uh, two forced fumbles, um, and then a fumble recovery. Um, and then in 2019, he had zero sacks, uh, but one fumble recovery. In 2020, five sacks. So it seems like the ceiling is about five sacks for this um, defensive lineman for the Arizona Cardinals in Belial Nichols. Now, obviously, with where we are at right now, this does make sense in terms of why we brought him in. Um, the Cardinals are trying to bring in pieces, right? Now, we actually got a report yesterday uh, from John Gamaduro that we're looking for not Christian Wilkins. Now, obviously, he's not nowhere near where the Cardinals were are, are going to go for um, and rightfully so right he ended up going for like what 27 million dollars per year uh, the Cardinals ended up getting Belial Nichols for a three-year deal uh, 21 million dollars and that includes 14.4 million dollars in guaranteed money so if you do a real quick math we're talking about an estimation of about seven million dollars per year and that's a drastic change, drastic difference uh, between what Christian Wilkins went for compared to Belial Nichols. Now, is he going to give you the same production? I don't know, right? I don't know. Now, that's something that we're going to have to find out here a little later on. And obviously, as we uh, continue to um, see what else, what other moves the Arizona Cardinals do, but I think it's a solid pickup. I don't think it's a pickup that's going to be like, oh my God, super exciting, right? I, I think I kind of got that little high from Sean Murphy bunting, which I know there's still some haters out there that, that don't like the signing. I, I think it's a pretty solid signing myself because he automatically is slotted for CB1 for the Cardinals. But this one right here, I think he will be, you know, DT1, right? Or, you know, defensive tackle one, unless the Cardinals are, are really going to try to continue to develop stills, which honestly I'm a big fan of, which is a late round pick for the Arizona Cardinals. So if we continue to develop him and, or maybe make him like right next to him, um, and then we can kind of have a, a, a wrecking crew for the Arizona Cardinals there, right? With, um, Belial Nichols as well as, uh, stills as well. So, Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so far, the, the trend is that the Arizona Cardinals are making moves. We've made two moves so far in day one. Do I expect more moves? If I were to throw a number out there, I would say maybe one more move. Um, and hopefully it's going to address the line. Um, either guard or something uh, 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 along those lines because we just got a interior defensive line um with Nichols um and then we got a cornerback as well so it definitely seems like obviously the Cardinals are focusing on the thought of we got these holes right we got to fill them um and then obviously continue to build from the draft uh moving forward so ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts what are your thoughts here on Belil Nichols um new defensive tackle for the Arizona Cardinals let me know here in the chat below are you excited about it are you just like okay let me know here in the chat appreciate you guys for tuning in as always have a great rest of your day and go cards